also dust, so they see big rocks and stuff around the main art sites to try and keep the dust levels down. That's not why we're here. And you see this guy here. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's a male. Right, his name's, <laughs> M his <laughs> his name's Mabuyu. Now, Mabuyu was a sort of really good hunter, fisherman type dude for his local clan. And uh, you can see he was out hunting because, you know, he threw spears yesterday. Yeah. And this hand on this side, you've got a woomera for throwing the spear. On the other side, he's got some spears. He's got a wee fan in his hand, that shape, and that's made of magpie geese feathers to keep flies out and keep cool. And hanging between his legs is a dilly bag, which is to put your catch in. Now, Mabuyu was out one day fishing, and he's a very, very good fisherman. And he caught a lot of barramundi, big, beautiful barramundi fish. See on the wall over there? Ah, there we go. So he caught a lot of beautiful, big barramundi fish. And he tied them to the back of his, of his canoe. He was paddling and paddling. He's going, oh, I'm taking my catch home to my clan. And we'll have a great feast. Paddling, paddling, paddling. Jeez, I'm a bit tired. I'll just pull up here, tie my canoe up, and have a snooze. So he just kept out for a bit. Had a bit of a relax. Woke up. Didn't really look behind him. Started paddling and thought, hang on. My canoe's a bit light here. What's going on? Look behind him. The barramundi were gone. The whole rope had been taken and everything had been gone. So he's like, oh no, the clan's going to be really unhappy about this. I'm going to be in big trouble. So he then turned his little canoe around and went back and looked at the riverbank. And he saw some drag marks leading off up a path. And he goes, those look suspiciously like barramundi drag marks. I'll just go and investigate this. So he cruised on up this path and he could hear some woman chatting. He kept going and he kept going and came to a big cave. And he looked inside and lo and behold, there were a bunch of women preparing freshly caught barramundi thought to himself, well, this is a bit odd because they don't go hunting for brown Monday. So he went and he said, excuse me, probably not in these exact words, excuse me, I think those are my fish you've got there. Can I have them back, please? They went, no, these aren't your fish. Get out. He's like, no, I'm pretty sure I caught these brown Monday and I'd like them to feed my clan because you're not from my clan. And they went, no, get out. So he was like, okay. And he left. But as he left, he moved a whole lot of big boulders in front of the cave and blocked them in. All the women in the cave starved to death and died. It's a bit of a sad ending. But that's quite common, not that death bit, but it's used to tell a story, the artwork. And you used to learn a lesson, and the lesson is every action has a consequence. You steal my food, I'll kill you. Yeah, so that's what I mean. It's pretty, pretty full on. Yeah, but it's a beautiful painting. And you can also see some x-ray decorative long neck turtle up on the wall, some barramundi, and right in the middle is a little white dragonfly. And the little white ones, it's quite rare to see good white paintings because it's one of the more fragile paints and clays that we used to do the artwork. So get up close and grab some photos, guys. Um, just don't cross the hand. <laughs>